the gender-based violence and femicide, uh, commitment is real. Am I confident that we will achieve our objectives and have the National Strategic Plan implemented? My answer to that is yes. I've never been more serious about anything, more than getting to address gender-based violence and femicide effectively. And that is why I've taken the lead on this matter, and I'm encouraging all other leaders in government to take the lead. It is a serious pandemic. We've got to make sure that the women of our country feel safe, and we've got to implement that national strategic plan. And we will allocate resources to have the plan implemented. We'll strengthen our courts. We're in the process of training uh, judicial officers, uh, prosecutors, and our police. And this is going on. And the good thing about having the council, which is made up of the women of our country, is that they are going to be the monitors and the evaluators, and they will be reporting that certain things are not being done as set out in the National Strategic Plan. But I want us to do more. I want government to do much more. For instance, when I've asked how many houses of shelter, the Tutuzela shelters do we have, and they tell me the number, and I say, that's not enough. We've got to have a shelter in every municipality across the country. And I've said that part of the COVID le legacy must be that we should have such shelters throughout the country. And many other processes uh, need to, to take place. We need to make sure that we also embark on a massive, massive conscientization drive so that the men, both young and old in our country, become much more aware and attuned to the fact that the women of our country have equal rights just like they do. They do not own the women of our country, and the men of our country should not abuse the women, the men of our country should not abuse the women of South Africa through either murdering them, raping them, or beating them up. Those are the important levels that we need to get our men in South Africa to get to. So we've got to have a very strong conscientization process and focus on the boy child as well and on men. And this is a mobilization that, that will, will start spreading more and more throughout the country. It is a pandemic that we must address and finally defeat. And all the institutions, the courts, the prosecution service, various uh, NGOs, various organizations need to join hands. And in the end, we want to see men leading this campaign. We want to see men in the forefront talking to other men, making sure that we implement. We want to see men going to police stations to check whether the kids are in police stations. We want to see men complaining about the way police turn women who've been violated or raped away, because in some cases that still happen. So that is the level of real determination that we need to see in this regard.